back to my YouTube channel Craftomania. Today I will show you how to make these really beautiful Janmashtami items. Before we begin, I would request all of you please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. So let's begin. First you have to take the cloth and you have to draw a rectangular shape on it. In my case, I am going to take 42 cm of length and 12 cm of breadth. After cutting it, you have to fold it from the top and the bottom and stitch it. So let me cut it and stitch it. See, now I am going to decorate it. done the decoration now you have to stitch only over here and you have to leave a hole over here so that you can put the elastic through this so now I'm, now I'm going to stitch it and put the elastic so I have stitched the sides and also put the elastic the glue has not dried yet so I am going to keep it to dry. Now you have to take another rectangular shaped cloth which is 20 cm in length and 3.5 cm in breadth. Now we are going to fold the top and the bottom part and stitch it. So I have stitched the top and bottom part. Now I am going to decorate it. So I have decorated the top part of the dress. See. Just the glue has not dried yet. For making the mukut, I am going to draw a shape. Like this. Now I have to put it on the cloth and cut the cloth according to this and stick it on this paper. Then you have to also decorate it. So I have stick the cloth on the paper. So now I am going to put elastic on the both side and I am also going to decorate it. I have done making the mukut for Gopal. Now I will make the necklace. So for making the necklace you will need a cardboard paper and you have to draw a shape like this. So now I am going to cut the same shape of cloth, put it on and stick it with the glue 
I'm going to decorate it and also put the elastic according to I according to the size I will require. I've done making the necklace. See. So all the items which we have made, they are fully done. We have done making the Janmashtami items. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back soon with another interesting video. Till then, bye! Thank you.